James Kemp and Lieutenant, U.S. Navy. We would go out, the other ships in Newport, again, most of them reserve ships, the other ships were frigates. And it, there was a Knox class frigate, which was a, a single engine, the two boilers, one, one engine room, um, and one screw. There was the, oh, the Perry class frigates, gas turbines. Um, but, and we were the one twin screw, 400 foot long thing in the, in the harbor. And depending on the weather, sometimes the others would beg off, but we can handle it. So we would go out, so we'd take our reserve contingent out, for, and even though the rest of them couldn't. Um, what was very interesting, the cool about this ship is that when it was underway, you didn't, it was practically silent. This is what a steamships do. A steamship doesn't make the noise a diesel does or a gas turbine does. If you're lucky, you stand somewhere near the funnel and you can hear the, 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 the whoosh, the, the whine of the four-strap blowers sucking air into the boilers. But that's the only sound it makes. Um, until until you, you, you wind it up. So when you're like break away from an underway, underway replenishment, next to an oiler, you're taking fuel, you're done, you go to break away, and every ship has this cool, they, they play, there's a song they play over the, the speakers. And this one was the Flight of the Valkyries, Wagner. So just picture this, the, the, the music playing, and you hear the four-strap blowers winding up as this ship, 70,000 horsepower, well, probably not four boilers, probably only 35 or 50,000 horsepower, slamming through two screws, pulling the ship away, just, just taking off. And it was so cool to be on her and to see other things just fall behind. And the, and the, the sound of the four strap blowers winding up was something I'll never forget. Very, very cool. Coming back up from Florida, I mentioned we did a, a, a visit down, we actually did some gunfire uh, practice down in Guantanamo Bay at a range there. And came, and then uh, Fort Lauderdale on the way up, and then on the way home, we're running in front of a hurricane. That was interesting. She took a, at least a 40 degree roll. Now, for a destroyer, that's not horrible. For a carrier, that'd be a really bad thing. For a destroyer, it's not horrible, but it's very interesting to find yourself kind of walking with one foot on the floor and one foot on the wall, on the bulkhead. You know, kind of the, uh, we took, oh, let's see, we took damage to uh, one of the ship's boats. We lost some uh, life rafts, lost some ladders. It, 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 the storm did, really, it was crazy. Um, I remember the captain telling me when I, I was on the, the bridge, had the, the night watch as off through the deck, um, and he just said, just don't let it pound. You know, so watch, you know, adjust the speed, adjust the, the heading as you need to, just don't let it slam into the waves. And we, we worked our way out, we got, we got clear, we got home. But yeah, the, she took damage. So again, I've got the, the uh, officer of the deck, the watch on the bridge. It's nighttime. We had seen some fishing boats heading off to the east. So we were south of Newport at the time, kind of uh, maybe out near the like the Great Bank area. Um, so we'd seen we'd seen some fishing boats heading off toward the east. Oh, that's great. We're doing our whatever exercises we were doing, and we're seeing what looks like a white flare coming up, coming down, disappearing, and another one, a white flare. Like all right. Call the captain, get him up here. What is this? This looks like a flare. He agrees. It looks like a flare. So, all right, we're, we, um, the two boilers we have online come up to full power. They're lighting off two more. We're, we're taking off in that direction. Well, after a while, we realize that we've traveled. We've been now, we've been at 27, 29 knots now for, for an hour. Wait, how far can I see a flare from? This doesn't make any sense. And we find suddenly the, this cloud's clear. And we come to understand that what we've been seeing was a planet. And the ship is moving, rocking up and down in the water. So it looks like it's coming up and down if you compare it to a cloud bank. And it was a thin cloud bank. So the thing would come up and come down. And come up like flare and come down. But once you've headed off, 20 miles, like, no, you, you should be able to get something on radar by now. <sighs> anyway, that, that was another interesting, fun one. Um, never, never believe your eyes. <laughs>